and bring it up. So I thought I'd tell you guys a story really quickly because I'm not going to wear the Madonna thing even though I think that would make my butt look great. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if I can't tell this story to you guys, I can't tell this story. Okay, this is a story you will totally embrace. So probably a month and a half ago, I was at a big construction company, a big kind of supervisor safety meeting, probably 200 people in this big hotel ballroom. Really great company, really one to watch, doing amazing things. And they got up to give kind of their, their uh, I don't know, their briefing, their once a year sort of annual safety meeting. Did you hear that, Mike? Uh, almost. Thanks, Carl. I, I know his name now, right? So they got up to give this briefing, and the safety guy started the introduction, and it was great. And he said this. He said, how many of you in this room are CPR AED certified by show of hands? And pretty much, probably three quarters of the room raised their hand. And then I think he was kind of starting the meeting with sort of a excitement. It was kind of going to be a funny thing. He said, look around you at who has their hands up. And everyone looked around and then he said, if you have a heart attack, these people are going to put their lips on yours. <laughs> right? So far so good on that? So I'm hanging out in the back waiting to get introduced. No one knows who I am. And these two construction supervisors in the back row one guy turns to the other one and says, you don't have to wait for me to have a heart attack. <laughs> See what I mean? You're perfect for this crowd. Okay, so <laughs> let me tell you a couple things. I don't even know where to start. I'm so pleased to be here. There's so much to talk about. But I want to tell you that I come in the spirit of love and respect. Because I think what I'm going to say to you is going to be a little controversial. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to sort of start this. And I thought I'd tell you a little story of an event that I was working with several months ago. An anesthesiologist was actually in an open heart surgery of a lady. She died because the surgeon inadvertently poked a hole in her heart. She bled out during the surgery and died. At the time she died, the anesthesiologist was posting on Facebook. Discuss. What do you think? Whose fault is that? Facebook. How do we tell that story? What do we do with that information? And one of the challenges I have for you is that I think what we deal with in our business, thank you. A little on the shoulders, please. Yeah, that's good. Lower, a little lower. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Right there, Carl. That's the magic. That's the Monterey magic. How do we deal with that information? Because I think that's a really, really important and interesting situation. Because let me give you the background. Because I think the background is really important. Is it the problem of the anesthesiologist? Is he bad? These are yes or no questions. If you can't get these, we're screwed. You're all kind of looking at me like, when's you going to start? This is it. You're, we're in it. <laughs> is he a bad anesthesiologist? Yes. Yeah, what, what do you think? Yes, no? Do good anesthesiologists post on, oh, go ahead. On the facts, because if the patient was on the heart-lung machine, then that's a point in time when the anesthesiologist is not significantly involved. Right, in right. I mean, it, it, depending on what was happening, it depends on sort of how you look at the event. And one of the things that I think is so interesting about this case is that I think the challenge we have, and it's a real challenge, is to understand that in our business, facts are entirely negotiable based upon context. And that what we do is manage the story that our organizations use to get better. And that's a really important part of what we want to talk about. And, and so let me kick into this by saying a couple things to you. One is I want to show you my opening slide, because I think this really sets the tone for the rest of the meeting. It's a real Monterey specific slide. You're probably going to need some time to process this, both emotionally and cognitively. Love your glasses. Just want that on the record. Best glasses in the room, OK? And your hair's cool, too. So we should hang later. You want to? <laughs> okay, we got a deal. So this, is, this isn't the opening slide. Who cares about this one? This is the one I want you to look at and think about. Here it comes. <laughs> Anyone not know this? I use this slide kind of a lot because it's really funny, but I should tell you a little backstory on this about why I use it. So uh, about a, uh, two years ago, I was this big speaker at the American Society of Safety Engineers meeting in Vegas. Maybe some, were anybody there? It was a big old meeting, pretty fun meeting. There were 6,000 people. Uh, in the ballroom of the hotel. It was gigantic, and I was the luncheon speaker. And I thought, huh, 
I'm in Vegas with 6,000 safety people. I don't know if you've hung with safety people, but they're not that much fun, really. I'll just say that. I mean, everyone used their handrail. A lot of good handrail used there. <laughs> but not a lot of wild partying, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to kick off with this slide because I can't think of a reason to not use this slide. It's the perfect slide, really. And in, in, at Vegas, it's perfect. I put it up, gets a pretty good response. I'm getting ready to give the rest of my presentation. I look out, this is totally true, and in the back of the room there's a guy with his hand up. That would only happen at a safety meeting. I just want that on the record, right? And I think, huh, that's interesting. I never imagined this slide would elicit a question. A better presenter would have ignored the guy and went on with his presentation, but you're gonna figure out in the next 50 minutes, I'm not that good of a presenter, <coughs> he says standing underneath the speaker. So uh, what he does is, I stop the entire presentation and I say, yes sir, do you have a question? Just like that. And the guy, this is totally true, stands up in the back of the room and from across 6,000 people, serious as a heart attack, he says, does the order you take them in make a difference? <laughs> so that's totally true. So I put this on there because I think it actually, yeah, it makes the slide make more sense. This, 